and so on. So you fork those kind of like parallels and put the four hashes in and hash those together the results of the play to BP sum. That was a field of parameter tweaks. That's the definition of play to BP. Um, and then it's not a, like 4x, you know, unfortunately. There are four physical four of this machine. You can code it in the truth of it. That's play to BP. And that's like slightly standard. Uh, not widely implemented in a lot of places, but in theory, like other software implements. Uh, if we want to get even faster than now, we can sort of do very interesting stuff. Real quick, since we're on play to though. Let's look at the implementation of that. I'm going to ignore most of the details. Uh, I guess we can read what the details on that. Uh, so, four of these go first in parallel, one of these goes to the end, slightly different parameters. It's just a hash. Um, this is the interesting part, which I'll zoom in on. This is Rayon. Who's used Rayon for? Uh, it's surprisingly easy to use. Uh, Ego, oh god, I should not but it's early on in the process, you probably can pull one It makes writing surprisingly easy. Uh, join means it's something on the left side of the right. Run them on multiple threads, maybe. Uh, and you'll notice it does some very, very clever things if I, if I scroll up a bit. So input is a slice argument to this function, right? And then this closure, the order closure, is like chunking up input just like you said, taking input just like that bit of passion. Uh, and this is running out of multiple threads. So it's hard to Tech checkers are doing all the work to make sure that these threads are not going to take this reference that lives on this thread stack and then like outlast them. And that's all safe and all this kind of magic that works. Uh, that's very really cool. And if the program happens to be using uh, Rayon threads and other capacities, it's all the same global thread pool, so it kind of does a lot for you. Uh, so this is just useful things in parallel, surprisingly easy, and you get your answer. Again, if we want to do something even faster than 0.4 seconds, um, we need to start defining. Custom hashing buttons. Uh, so the project that actually led up all this talk to you is called BAO, currently, B A O. Uh, custom tree hashing mode, the details don't matter, it's binary tree. Uh, and if we run BAO hash on F, maybe we want to pass this quite fast. Uh, so that, that is almost 4 gigabytes per second. Uh, that is utilizing all the cores of the machine, that is utilizing the ABX2 instructions from that light like, implementation that we just saw. If you look at the implementation of this, this is the top level hash function. Um, it doesn't make sense to use right now if you have like a thousand bytes, if there's a lot of overhead. But um, if, if you have enough bytes, it falls into this recursive thing, which again uses right on point. This is a shockingly simple uh, function for implementing like a four gigabyte per second hash. Um, it's, it's, the main difference between this and like is this is actually directly recursive on itself. So we actually call hash recurs right on. Inside of hash recurs RAM before the play to BP, which is sort of hard code instead of four calls to a worker. Uh, and this will parallelize the arbitrary number of threads that we have. Uh, hash does is literally just play to hash, and we actually get to the bottom and hash it leaves, and then we hash everything together at the end. So that's about it's pretty fast. Uh, anybody have any questions about Rayon or Cindy instructions? So that is another thing that tends to happen if you use the 